Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about what different types of masking we have in transformer model. And in this video, we will start implementing it. So as we have seen, there are two types of masking. One is uh, like a standard masking or pad masking, which is used in encoder and it is mainly applied on source text. And the other type of masking is a uh, subsequent masking or target side masking where it will apply uh, on the decoder side. Okay, so in this video, we will mainly focus on encoder side masking, which is uh, mainly based on source text or source input. And uh, that's what we will learn in this video. Okay, so let us dive in and start. So first we need to import uh, torch. And uh, next we need to define what is our pad token, our pad token ID, okay? And let us say our source input is uh, torch dot tensor. And for the simplicity, let us keep it uh, just uh, one input, okay? One sample. And uh, let us say it is one, two, three. And then we have zero, zero, zero. So we have uh, three real tokens and then three pad tokens, okay? And now to generate the mask, let us call it source mask. What we will simply use it, we will simply use a uh, is equal is equal operator. Okay. So we will simply say source is equal is equal to pad. And what it will give us simply a Boolean matrix or Boolean tensor. Let us print it. So let us print source mask. Let's run and see it. So now you see like all the positions where we have true uh, tokens are actual tokens. It is false. Other than that, it is true. So to make it uh, numbers 0 and 1, we need to simply apply typing on this. Okay. And how we do it? We simply say dot type and we simply say torch dot in 16. That will work. Okay, so let us run and see it again. Now it will be numbers 0 and 1. So now it is 0 for those positions where we don't have a pad, and it is 1 for those positions where we have a pad. Okay, so as we have seen in the previous video, like we need to add uh, additional uh, dimension to make it broadcastable towards uh, attention uh, scores. Okay, so we do that using unskis. And we always do it in minus two. Okay, so it is like what is the size of the last dimension and then minus to that. Okay, so let us run and see now. So earlier it was like a, a one dimension or uh, just a one vector a tensor. Now it will be added one dimension here. Okay, something like one more parenthesis here. So let us run and see that as well. So now you see we have a uh, added dimension here at the beginning. If it is a batch, it will be like batch cross uh, added dimension cross the sequence length. But we will see that uh, later on in this video itself, like how it will work on a uh, batch size of two or more. Okay. Now next, let us generate the attention scores. So first, let us compute the sequence length. So let us call it sequence length is equal to source. Dot tape minus one. So when it will be uh, of uh, multiple inputs, that's why we are saying minus one because we need the last dimension. Like what is the sequence length of that particular batch? It is okay. And then attention shape would be simply one cross sequence length cross sequence length. Okay, as a uh, each token attends each other token. So it is like uh, if the size is four, so it will generate a four cross four tension score matrix. Okay. Now next is like we will uh, we will generate a dummy attention score matrix using rand function. Okay. So let us call it attention score is equal to torch dot rand, and we will simply pass the shape it and 
let us print and see the attention score as well okay let's run and see it now you see here we have the attention score the batch size or uh, the sequence length is six so it will generate six cross six uh, uh, attention score matrix okay to apply the source mask on the attention score we simply use masked fill method okay so we will simply call attention score is equal to attention score dot masked fill and what it accepts is the mask source mask is equal to is equal to one and it needs a value which we generally have a negative value a negative large value so we will use one e to the power minus e to the power nine okay so that's all to apply the mask now let us print mask again attention scores let us call it mask okay so let us run and see it now if we see carefully here so we can see like uh, we have three added pad tokens and that's why we say here like for each row have three these uh, large negative values which will be towards very near to zero when we apply softmax okay and it is like consistent uh, for all all the rows that we have in our attention score okay so let us go down and see so it is here it is the same here and it is the same here as well so, and it will be continuously same for that particular input the scores that is generated for that particular input okay and now let us uh, extend it for more than one input so here for the simplicity we simply added one input let us add another one here okay so now it will be a batch size of two samples okay so now it is the typical uh, input which will be a batch input now let us see like what source mask looks like let us add a exit here and now let us run and see it so now you see carefully here this is the batch size so it will be of the shape also let us print the shape as well so source mask and let us print here the shape okay so it will be of the shape size batch which is 2 cross 1 cross sequence length okay so let us run and see it so you see we have two cross one cross six where this is the unsqueezed dimension and when we have the batch size two and the max sequence length is six okay and if we run the same thing uh, for the whole code it will mask it correctly so let us do that let us change it a little so let us say we have uh, only um two masks two pad tokens in the second input and three of them are in the first input. okay so uh, eventually what will happen is like for the second input the 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 attention score that is generated it will have only two values which are very large negative values okay and also we need to change this uh, attention shape because now we have uh, uh, two input mat uh, two input vectors are two inputs so it should be of uh, batch size of two so we need to add here two we can get it like uh, we can call bs our batch size is equal to source dot shape zero okay so it will give us the batch size and it will be now generated okay so now if we'll apply it again we will get uh, we will get uh, the required we have here when we are trying to apply the mask okay so let us run and see it so now for the first input where we have three uh, padded tokens we have three attention score values which are very large negative values 
for each and every uh, row okay and for the second input or the for the second uh, example here you can see only two values are large negative values for each row in that particular attention score metric okay so i hope that is clear like uh, how attention scores are applied in encoder so this is the typical uh, behavior in the encoder masking okay and this is mainly used based on the source input text so in the next video we will talk about uh, how we apply uh, masking in decoder also known as subsequent masking so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next